All right, so welcome to our 2006 Jayco 29Y. Um, I just want to go over some of the upgrades because this isn't your basic Jayco interior inside here. Um, if you take a look around, this looks nothing like the old dated style that Jayco was doing in 2006. It's been completely repainted. You have a glass residential style backsplash and faucet in the kitchen. Um, we were full time. We lived in this for a little over a year now. We've gone through, we've repainted the cabinets to kind of give it a little bit of an accent and separation from the kitchen and living area. Because we lived in it for a year, we took the stove out because we never used it. Unless you wanted to burn something, you really didn't want to use the stove in it. So we took the stove out. We've put in a butcher block to cut on. We used a black stone and instant pot to cook everything. Um, we do have a toddler, so this is kind of the back half of the trailer is kind of shaped towards that. So if you've got kids, they're going to like this refrigerator right here. Instead of having the normal wood style paneling, what we have, you have a whiteboard on top, chalkboard on the bottom for kids. If we move into the bunk room, again, tailored to toddler life. So up here on the top bunk, we have a crib style setup. Works great for a child. Does not have a mattress, guys, because in North Carolina, this is something I know from my days of selling mattresses, it is illegal to sell a used mattress in North Carolina, even in third-party third sales. So, no mattresses, but what you have, you have a crib up here if you have a toddler. Down here, we have a door that latches so that he could actually go in here and play. Now, if you don't have children, this is also useful if you have fur babies. We have two dogs. This is great for putting the dogs up here, getting them out of the way if you have friends coming over and you don't want dogs jumping in their lap. So if we go into the bathroom, what you'll see is we have a custom wall underneath the bathtub there to kind of match the rest of the interior. Again, you have a glass residential style backsplash there. Now, if we go to the master bedroom at the front of the trailer, this is where it gets neat, guys. Check this out. Yes, you have a travel trailer with a barn door in it. Now, this opens up. Again, we traveled in this full time for a little over a year. Again, we've changed the paint color in here so it doesn't look as dated. We've got gray cabinet, do cabinet doors for the accents. That back wall, that used to be a window and it still is behind that wall, but given that this is our bedroom and we spent a lot of time in campgrounds, we didn't want people looking into our bedroom. So we went ahead and put an accent wall back there that covers up that back window. If you ever wanted to use that back window, you could pull that down and you would have your back win your window at the front of the trailer. So again, if you look at the floors, again, we've updated everything in here. The floors are updated. This is all vinyl plank flooring and the floor underneath it has been completely replaced. There are no leaks in this trailer. The floor actually did not need to be replaced, but the insulation between the floor needed to be replaced because it had broken down and separated. So that's why the floor was replaced. If you look over here at the dining area, we've done away with the old style diner, dinette kind of bench seated uh, dining table. We've put in a custom dining table here, kind of a little bit of a steampunk, kind of new age style there with the wood planks making your tabletop. Underneath that, you have a custom wheel well cover that was, was built and can have stuff sat on top of it so it can hold weight. You're not actually sitting it on the wheel well there. So again, lots of just little custom touches that you see throughout the trailer. We've got the upholstery above the door to match the sofa that has been reupholstered. Kind of gives you that trendy travel vibe going on there and then let's see what else do we have here we've got custom cabinet pools on all the doors again to kind of give each little living space its separation in the living area living room area you see the key door pools in the kitchen area you'll see something that's a little bit more kind of a kind of a clay kind of sculpture style door pool there And one more thing that I want to point out, 
all the bulbs have been changed out from the old style incandescent bulbs. If you've ever been in a travel trailer with those old style incandescent bulbs, these got really hot with those bulbs. These have all been changed out to LED bulbs so that they burn cooler, gives you a little bit brighter, wider light. Um, so as you take a look around this, this travel trailer, you see some decorations on the walls, some throw pillows and stuff. All of that comes with the trailer because, well, you want stuff to match. This keeps you from having to go buy stuff to match. So what you see is what you get when you look at this trailer. Um, so again, lots of custom touches to the interior of this trailer that kind of set it apart and make it feel a little bit more like a home, whether you're going to live in it full time like we did, or whether you're just going to be a weekend warrior, this is the trailer your wife will let you buy. So guys, if you're interested in this 2006 Jayco 29Y, go ahead and let us know. Set up a time to come by and take a look at it for yourself. But thanks for checking it out, guys.